All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a couple of days now since I pulled the motor, but uh, it was raining so bad yesterday, and uh, it's kind of cold today. It's real windy outside, but uh, it's not bad in here. But we're going to try to get this transmission and transfer case off. I don't have much battery left on my camera because I forgot to take it home and charge it, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to have to do. So to pull this, <laughs> to pull this off, we're going to just unbolt these straps around the uh, yoke there. That should just slide out the slip joint. Got a couple bolts under here. We got to take out. Should be one on each side. Take off the dry shaft here and at the yoke right here and we should be ready to come up with this thing i've already moved the hood out of the way so i got plenty of room to set it right over there in the floor and uh we did get some parts in i ordered there's the hood but i ordered a new inner fender the one that rusted out i just didn't feel like it was suitable to try to patch so i got a new inner fender i got some more patch panels for the cab I got a new overflow radiator bottle all these come from LMC truck and uh, of course a lot of it's going to be used later I think what I'm going to do on this is start with the frame like I said take everything off the frame get it good and clean painted then I'm going to bring the cab and the doors in here and I'm going to work on those get those painted put back on the cab of course after we get the doors I mean the cab and doors finished We'll go ahead and mount the new motor and the transmission. Hopefully by this time it'll be a lot cleaner and uh, get all this mounted back. And then we'll work on the front clip because I really, I got a limited amount of room in here to uh, try to do everything at one time. And I still ain't really figured out how I'm going to get the cab in here. I think I'm going to probably not have to put it on a trailer to bring it in, but uh, I don't trust any of these rafters to hold it. Even, even though I do have a hand winch, it goes up to that right there. So I might have to end up putting a little stronger rafter up here to lift it off a trailer. But anyway, we'll figure that out when we get to it. We got a lot to do on this. And so I'm going to just go get to it. Uh, I'm not going to video it all because it's just a matter of unbolting stuff. And uh, we'll get ready to pull it. I'll show you what I'll do. All right, guys, I thought I'd show you something I found on the, the rear U-joint. As you can see, one side is shot. The other side was still good. That one was dry, and it just came all to pieces. Also, on the front U-joint, not the U-joint, but the U-straps, one side had the right bolts. The other side had, I'm about out of memory, had one of them bolts go. I'll just lay them over here. Anyway, they didn't have the right bolts. Alright, but we're ready to pull it, and I'm going to hook the chain up and get the uh, engine horse around, and we're going to pull it. Alright, this is probably not ideal. But I don't really want to put any weight on that aluminum housing with that transfer case. So I've got one end of the chain wrapped around the adapter and one kind of supporting the well housing. And we're going to just try to lift it up and see what it does. It may, it may not work. Transfer 
have to have some help put them back in. That's for sure. minutes left. Low battery, everything else going crazy. Too much weight on the back. I'm going to fix that right quick. Maybe. I'll show you what it looks like on the ground, but I'm going to stick a screwdriver in there and try to hold this back end up a little higher. Sorry guys, I'm out of battery and I'm out of memory. Alright guys, this is uh, the next day, but I wanted to finish up with this video and show you that I did get the transmission transfer case put over here where I wanted it. Uh, we got this folded up and out of the way, so now I really need to uh, swap positions where these two engines are. The engine I'm going to be using is that one. But I'm not in that big hurry right now. Got plenty of room. And uh, yeah, what I did is I stuck a screwdriver in that chain, and that kind of helped balance it a little better instead of trying to roll back. And that worked out pretty well, but it would have been very helpful to have someone here to, uh, you know, kind of help hold that up. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and continue uh, stay tuned for more.